Hey, no, nah, you putting the clothes in the, in the wrong side, the trunk in the front. Girl, not in the damn back. What is you doing? Child, free on my shooters, child. Now, if I were to make a list of shoes to cop under $100, without a doubt, I would definitely put these at the number one spot. What's good, everybody? In this video, we're gonna take a look at the A6 Gel 1130 in this cream and iron clad colorway. A super clean general release pair. It carries the interesting shade of blue. It almost looks like it's turquoise, and you also get a nice cream upper. Now, I look at the Gel 1130s as the Jalkiano 14's little brother. They both share some similarities here and there. They both both equally as comfortable. Now the 1130s do fit me a little bit better because the toe box is a bit wider and I do have wide feet and the 1130s also have a taller build. It lifts you more off the ground so it also gives you a bit more height advantage but other than that I honestly like them both. And the Gel 1130s is about the most affordable runner type of shoes that you can pick up right now because these usually come at a retail price of a hundred dollars. Come on a hundred dollars for a dope shoe like this? Come on now, you can't beat that. And sometimes you can even catch them on sale for like 60 to 80 dollars. Now we've recently seen a collab with Kif on both the Jalkiano 14s and the 1130s. There were four pairs that released and I was aiming to get that icy blue pair or also known as the starlight blue colorway. Now I couldn't get my hands on them unfortunately but regardless I still want to show you guys a pair of 1130s on this channel. So I went ahead and picked up a general release and I copped these from Asphalt Gold which is a retailer in Europe and Asphalt Gold is always known for their dope editorial photos and they know how to make certain shoes look really good with their shots and i also wonder when the collab with gallery department is going to be releasing but i just know those are going to be super expensive only because it's gallery department and they're known for their pretty high prices which is also quite ironic because they want to choose the model from a6 that so happens to be one of the most affordable models too but yeah even if that pair might be out of reach for a lot of us i think that's still a pretty clean pair if you ask me and if you're new to the channel consider subscribing and make sure you hit that like button i would greatly appreciate that I'll also give me a follow on IG at Dame underscore BT and let's move on to the video. Now this is not a super clean pair. The upper comes in seal, cream and blue. I really like that they made the upper seal instead of just a regular white. Now there was also another iron clad pair that released before and those already went on sale. I saw this guy on TikTok grabbing them on sale for only $64 which is insane for a dope shoe like that. So who knows maybe these might go on sale too later down the line if they end up sitting which is always a good thing. This is the box that it came with just a regular brown cardboard box with the A6 logo on top. Nothing special to see here. So I got these in a size 8.5 which is my true to size and I honestly could have gone with a size 9 because they do fit a bit snug so if you want yours to fit a bit more roomy make sure you go a half size up in these. So as far as comfort I don't notice any difference between these and the Jalkiano 14s. I find them equally as comfortable so comfort wise I would also give these a good 8 out of 10. And so diving into some of the details on this shoe. So the base layer on the upper comes in a sail mesh. All the metallic finishes on the upper is made out of synthetic leather. Now on the lateral side you get the A6 logo in that nice blue or turquoise color. And you see that same color on the sock liner, on the mud guard, on the back of the shoe and also on the bottoms. Now on the back you also see that small gel branding on that rubberized material. Now the midsole comes in a regular white color so it bounces 
closes off nicely with that sail on the upper. Now these come with these sail laces by default and you don't get any extra set of laces. You also get a sail mesh tongue and on the top you get that gel 1130 branding in this rubberized material. And lastly on the bottom you have a rubber outsole in the colors blue, white and gray. Now out of all of the 1130 models that I've seen so far, including the KIF colorways, I honestly seem to like these the most. I think it's solely because it comes with a sail upper. You can pair it up with some shorts and some tube socks in the summertime and you're basically good to go. So in terms of looks, I would give this pair a nice 8.5 out of 10. But yeah, this is a really clean, affordable shoe for you to add to your daily rotation. If you guys have any questions about the 1130s, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think it is. Let me hear your thoughts. And that is all for this video. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And of course, make sure you hit that like button. I would greatly appreciate that. And I will see you guys on the next one. I'm out. But not flossy, uh, the streets didn't talk me, uh. I'm just tryna get my niggas back We came from section 8 And I knew I was a nigga since the second grade Man, I swear my time is coming cause I'm never late Came from broken homes and broken dreams to get in love Love, dollar, dollar, dollar bill, uh, listen close, this is not a drill Niggas hungry trying to get a meal, I've been in life, who gon' pay a bill? I've been in action, been attraction, uh, surplus with niggas lacking, uh Shining lights, but still be blacking, uh, red lights will stop the action, uh